Hello world, welcome to JMC Car Builds. In this video, I will take you through the making of a transmission for my little solar hybrid car. As always, we start with CAD where the design intent is created as a 3D model packaged well within the limited space of the little solar car. This transmission is special in the sense that it reverses the direction of the output from the internal combustion engine and has an input from the electric motors. The car was earlier a pure solar car with grid charging if and when required. However, earlier road trials left a demand for more performance, hence it was decided to convert the solar car to a solar hybrid car to eliminate the Lacuni. The design uses some off-shelf parts like the crown and cage assembly, bearings and oil seals. The housing parts are laser-cut steel plates, forming an assembly with other turned parts to make the differential unit. The reduction ratio of this differential has been worked out to 4.12 to 1 to achieve an impressive performance with the 10 kilowatt engine. The CAD data shows all parts, sub-assemblies and weld assemblies. The drive pinion gear and shaft with external splines to accept sprockets were designed and later machined. All parts for the transmission have been made through various processes, including fiberglass hand layup, laser cutting, milling, gear cutting, hardening, and turning. Since the design has been made with interlocking parts, parts simply auto-locate, doing away with fixturing. As welding progresses, small parts joining to form larger assemblies. I decided to fire the engine to ensure that all systems are in readiness to welcome the transmission. On display here are the side housing, housing inner, differential, and outer housing. Assembly begins with liberal use of high temperature silicone gasket maker on the housing where shafts go through to prevent oil leaks. Bearings are lubed well before and after assembly. The differential unit goes in next. The differential unit has the crown, cage with side gears and pinions all assembled before locating into the housing. The custom pinion shaft goes in next with its pair of bearings. Gasket maker is applied to the lip for a leak-proof seal. Side housing is finely located and bolted to complete the unit. More fasteners are used to lock the outer housing to the side. Mounting provisions, oil filler and plug, drain plug have already been installed to the side housing. Axle shaft ends and sprockets complete the unit. The transmission unit is finally in its space, driven by chains by both IC engine and the electric motors. With the engine running and the drive in first gear, the transmission is working well as expected. Axle shafts have been modified to suit the new lengths. And now, the solar car moves on gasoline power for the first time. What an exciting day! Tomorrow we hit terra firma. Today I have packaged the electric drive units for a later link up. Two 800 watt motors drive the hybrid transmission via roller chain. Beautiful misty morning, it is time to roll. solar car is having a hard time over the battered track, but power and torque appear more than adequate for the application.
Follow us for more at JMC Car Builds on the development of the Sunray GT Solar Hybrid Car. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.